OK, that leads with Andy and John. The next topic, please. The topic is politics. Who wants to come in on that? Andy Parsons. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, we've had the Lib Dems announce their uh, immigration plan. What they'd like to do is they'd like to put immigrants into places in Britain which don't, at the moment, have many immigrants. Quite what those parts of Britain will feel about that policy. I grew up for quite a long time in Cornwall, and there they regarded anybody who came from Devon as an immigrant. <laughs> we had one bloke on our street who was known as the Traveller because he'd once been by train up to London. <laughs> And we have a new president for Europe, a man by the name of Herman van Rompuy. Now, the sun can't wait to get a headline going on this one. <laughs> rumpy Pumpy, Rumpy Numpty, Humpty Rumpy. <laughs> They'll go for gold if he gets involved in an affair with a one-legged ugly dwarf. <laughs> rumpy Pumpy from Rumpy Numpty with Frumpy Stumpy Grumpy. <laughs> well done, Andy Parson. OK, John, let's see what you've been left with. The topic is fitness. Um, I think as a country, we all know that, that we're not as fit as we used to be. We still sell a lot of sports clothing, though. I'm from Liverpool. If you ever go to Liverpool and you look around at the number of people in tracksuits, you'll think you're in an Olympic village. <laughs> The reality is you've only got to see the size of the tracksuits to know that you're not in an Olympic <laughs> village. And the problem is, is when you invest in some sport and clothes, you feel you've got to do something with them. I bought a brand new pair of running shoes, a brand new pair of shoes that I thought I'll have to do something. One of my mates said, why don't you join us? A few of us are doing a 10K race. Never run a 10K before. And when you enter, you've got to put an estimated finish time. I didn't know what to put down. I phoned my mate Sam up. I said, what shall I put down? He said, oh, for 22 minutes. <laughs> I thought, that seems optimistic. I'll put 24 minutes, I sent the form in. I turned up on the day of the 10K race. I turned up with me mates. I was stood there with an orange number. All my mates had blue numbers. The steward came up to me. He said, what are you doing here? I said, well, I was uh, thinking of running the race. He said, no, what are you doing back here with all the blue numbers? I said, why? He said, well, you're an orange number. I said, so what? He said, well, if you're an orange number, that means you're an elite athlete. <laughs> he took me to the front. It was me and three Kenyans. <laughs> Good man, John. 